Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, and sadly, for the last time, to this M240i. I don't think I've really hidden anything with the title of this video, so we're gonna go straight into it, but this M240i is now sold. Um, quite honestly, this is all a little bit of a, how do I put it? Um, a bit of a whirlwind. Um, it's all happened. It's all happened really suddenly. Um, it honestly wasn't the plan, um, but I can talk you through reasons why. I mean, there, there's a few couple. There's a, there's a couple of essential uh, reasons why this car has been sold. Um, but right now, I'm uh, just taking it to get cleaned for the new owner. I had an MOT put on it. Um, yesterday for the new owner and pass with that and now I'm just going to go and get it cleaned properly because it's only fair isn't it to, to be able to pick up a really really clean car um, <clears throat> but yeah this will this will literally be the last time I drive it I've spent this morning putting the car back on its original number plates um, which is a really it's really I'm really sad actually I'm really sad um, but let me just explain exactly why I've sold this car. Of course, I only picked this car up, I was looking back through the uh, documentation, I believe it was the 22nd of September that I bought this car. So uh, today, as I'm filming this, it's actually the 23rd of December, which means I've owned this car <coughs> three months. And that's it, and that honestly was a way shorter time period than I I planned for. Um, actually, when I bought this car, I didn't plan on keeping it forever, but I did plan on keeping it for at least nine months, if not a year, uh, basically to see me through the spring slash summer period, um, which us YouTubers like to call road trip season. So, yes, in short, this wasn't planned. I hadn't planned to sell the car so soon, but. As I said, there are reasons why. Um, first and foremost, I'd sort of, I'd been thinking about how much this car cost me. I own this car outright, which means there's no finance on it. Um, so I'm essentially not paying for this car monthly. I have uh, X amount of money tied up in this car. So throughout ownership, I couldn't help but sort of have that in the back of my mind. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, with the global situation that I obviously do not need to go into details on, um, it really has just put a strain on certain things. I mean, for example, getting um, the Litchfield stage one, something I'd wanted from day one, but because of everything going on, that was a process that took a bit longer. Pretty much the same, actually. I mean, even with um, Auto ID getting the carbon, that had to be postponed once or twice. Um, due to things out of our control um, and so basically since day one because of that the, the pandemic we're going through um, I haven't been able to action the plans that I've had with this car without any sort of you know with ease if that makes any sense so that's always been a little bit frustrating and obviously again when you've got so much money tied up into an asset you don't really want to have any other sort of worries along with that and look i'll be frank i bought this car largely as a investment but not not in terms of resale but in terms of my youtube channel and mainly my content content um, i wanted to be able to bring you guys uh you know more content than just z4 stuff um, and so this car presented a real opportunity to obviously do that but with them being so modifiable I think actually, even given everything, I've brought some really interesting mods onto this car. Um, that's the number plate on the front just slipping down, so I'm probably going to need to adjust that. And yeah, all of these mods actually just make it all the more sad um, that it's going, because I think it really now is at a point where I'm, I'm properly enjoying the car. Um, but yeah, so there was all of these reasons, and actually the main the main thing that was limiting me is I really, really wanted to take this car over to Germany. Um, firstly, to do an autobahn run because this car would now not have a limiter on it thanks to Litchfield. 
So I think it would be, you know, it would be capable of at least 175 miles per hour. And of course, I would have loved to test that out in Germany on the autobahn. And of course, make content around that. And then whilst there, you know, take it around the Nürburgring. I think I 100% wanted to do that. But again, with, uh, at the time of filming, the latest announcement from our Prime Minister a few days ago, uh, putting me into, um, you know, the toughest of restrictions now with everything going on. And, you know, 60 countries so far banning travel from uh, and to the UK. So that's essentially reason number one in that, you know, all of these things going on in the world at the moment have just made um, plans obviously a little bit more difficult and some big plans, as we just talked about, you know, impossible. Uh, which is frustrating but also stressful when you're trying to um, create really good content um, which which generates my income. So look, so in, in short, I've basically been stressed and anxious about this car pretty much from day one when uh, COVID issues started getting a little bit worse. And then what happened a few days ago is the government announced the latest restrictions and at that point I thought, oh, I'm just gonna put this car up online and just see if anyone bites. Uh, because I thought it's gonna be quite a long winter now with restrictions. The car is costing me, uh, I mean, the insurance is 3,000 pounds a year, so essentially 250 pounds a month, just to, you know, just for me to have this car, plus tax um, and everything else. So, you know, the car essentially is costing me a lot of money to just have, and I'm not able to extract as much out of it as I'd like to. And so, yes, with the latest restriction that was announced, I just thought I'm gonna put this on and see if anyone bites, because if they do, great. Um, you know, I've come out of this car essentially in positive equity, um, and I'd be, I'd be able to let it go based on that. And literally within a few hours, um, I got a text and then a phone call from a very, very pleasant chap essentially immediately we, we agreed on a price and he paid a deposit and that was it I mean it was just all super quick um, and he seems like a super cool guy who's gonna really really enjoy the car and so that was a couple of days ago and he's coming to collect it tomorrow so if this video goes live everything has gone to plan and, and uh, he's driven away with the car a very happy new owner and the M240i is no longer in my possession <coughs> um, and it is one of those things where As it dawns on you, and as I'm now realising um, this is the last time I'm going to drive the car, it's uh, I'm, I'm sad actually, I'm really really sad, I mean this car is, is epic, it really is epic and I think it was a downpipe away from being perfect because it would have just given it a bit more power, which it didn't really need, but just a bit, a bit more aggression. I'm also gutted because, as we talked about, I really wanted to do all of those things with this car. And secondly, I cannot tell you I've driven this car on a dry day. Obviously I bought it when I bought it, um, and then it's been quite a long dark winter since, and it, uh, I've just, I don't feel like I've really got the most out of this car, which is, which is an utter shame. Um, and the other thing you might be wondering is, well, you know, why on earth are you selling it with all of the mods on? Well, that was also never my plan. I, you know, as I said, wanted this car to have about a nine month, at least, lifespan. And um, I'm just going to accelerate up to the speed of it here. And so what I would have done at the end of that is slowly put the car back to stock, prepared it for sale uh, in a more conventional manner and obviously offered it to everyone on the channel if they were interested um, and do things that way. It would essentially appeal to more people because no one, you know, not a lot of people want to buy a modified car. Um, and potentially I'd then make some profits out of selling the individual modifications. However, again, it was just that latest announcement um, that came up and I thought, look, I'm just gonna advertise the car as it is, uh, because there may be someone out there who, you know, really uh, has been following the channel or, or loves the car and um, wants it as it is, because I think all of the mods I've got are, you know, they're fantastic. I've not gone for anything really aftermarket, so to speak. We've got the Quicksilver bound exhaust, auto ID carbon fiber diffuser with some interior bits, a Litchfield Stage 1 remap, 
Motec performance springs and spacers and Bowler wheels, all very reputable uh, companies and proven modifications. So, long story short, again, I thought this, you know, someone might want this. Um, and, and also, you know, the guy who is buying this car is a viewer of the channel. It was exactly that. He sort of saw the car and, and loved it as it was. So, look, things just fell into place. When I put the car up uh, on eBay as a classified listing, I honestly didn't think anyone would, would buy. Thought I might get a few tyre kickers. But no, straight away, someone who knew the car, wanted the car, uh, was, was happy to pay essentially what I was asking for it. It just happened like that, and here we are. So, I don't really know what to say, guys. Um, I don't know how it's going to be received, this. But, although this has all been very sad and, and negative so far, obviously this does open up. Um, opportunities for, for me now that I have a lot of spare cash essentially I mean it's never spare cash there's always more sensible things than cars I can be putting it into but you know I, I, I'd be lying if I said I'm not browsing the classifieds every single day at the moment um, for all sorts of things God knows what so yeah I'm a bit I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I am sorry if you'd sort of been following the videos with this channel. I mean, firstly, thank you so much for, for watching the channel. I mean, this is the reason I'm sitting in this car in the first place. I mean, I could afford this car off directly off the success of the channel in, in 2020. I mean, that's the truth. And I basically got you guys to thank for that. So thank you. And I'm sorry. Um, you know, if you've been looking forward to future content with this car, but trust me when I say I also was as well. Um, I really, really was, and I think, yeah, some epic adventures and uh, further epic modifications could have been had and would have been had had I been able to keep this car for longer. But I think, I think you'll understand where I'm coming from, the anxiety I've been suffering through. Um, and we all have, and, and you know, bloody hell, like what a fortunate position I'm in that I've got anxiety about what I'm going to do with my second car that I don't honestly need. So, um, I fully appreciate I'm in such a fortunate position to be sitting here, but I'm sure you can understand the anxiety that has come with um, situations out of my control, with basically having a car like this and needing to maximize my revenue out of it. It's been, it's been anxiety provoking since day one and I think it'll be quite liberating once the car's gone in that sense but also yeah I'm gutted because there's so much I wanted to do with it which I haven't been able to do, been able to do. And, and not to mention I mean this probably helped me when it comes to selling it but the specification on this car took me the best part of I think nine months because I had been looking since you know I remember at the start of 2020 I said right this is the year I'm going to get myself a car for YouTube. Um, an M240i was always really top of that list, uh, despite what might have been said on the channel. So since then, I had been scouring for, oh look at that R8, that's beautiful. I'd been scouring for a perfect spec and honestly this was the first car that came up with that perfect spec and I bought, bought it. So uh, it's a shame again that all of that, those months of, of searching went into finding this car and I'm having to let it go so soon. Again, wasn't the intention. But, it's just a car. Who knows one day, um, an M240i or even better, an M2 perhaps might be the next thing to, to come to this channel. Um, but, you know, does this, does this mean it's now the right time for me to buy the V10 M6 that I've been so desiring for years? Maybe. I mean, I think, honestly, if the travel and pandemic situation shows signs of improving before this spring or summer, I think that's a very strong possibility. Will I get something in the interim? Probably. Probably. But I don't know. Um, I don't know. All I am right now, I'm honestly very sad, almost close to tears, making this video. 
because like I say, I think it's just, it's all come so fast. But please do not sort of feel sorry for me because I'm getting out of this car um, without losing any money. And after three, I mean, despite the worries and the woes, three amazing months with this car. I mean, another big regret is I never got to take it to a car meet or to an event where I could show you guys. I mean, that's a real shame because it is a, a fantastic looking car. I will miss looking at it. Um, even if it's just out of my, my window every every day. It's such a good looking car and I will miss having it on the drive, I really will. Um, and I'll miss sharing it with you guys. Um, and although I'm sad now, like I say, I'm coming out of this financially north of where I was, or not financially north, but in a good place. And, um, you know, like I say, there's plenty of these cars around and if I decide in two months that this was the biggest mistake I've ever made, well, although I not, might not be able to buy this car back, there's lots of them around. But I think, like I say, have I ticked the box of M240i? Sort of, but you know, like I say, not really, because I've not used it to its <coughs> full extent. But I think exciting things to come, I do. It's just such an awful time when you're trying to plan things and uh, there's a lot of uncertainty around. And yeah, I don't know, I don't know, but look, I think, yeah, this camera's been recording for almost 20 minutes now, so you guys have probably heard enough. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how this video's come across, um, but I am worried, honestly, what you guys are going to think. I hope I haven't made a terrible decision, but again, looking at the numbers and, and sort of, from, from my part, knowing what I've sort of been say going through again third world problems I fully appreciate that I think it's the right decision um, but I'm not looking forward to tomorrow when I wave the new owner off with the keys so yeah um, yeah sad But I've got to put things in perspective here. It's just a car that I've been super fortunate to, to have. And now is a good time to let it go. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so guys, look, I think you're viewing this on Boxing Day. Cheery video, I know. Um, so if you are, I hope you, I honestly hope you've had a fantastic Christmas. Um, and I really wish you a fantastic, fantastic, New Year. Let's hope 2021 goes a little bit more smoothly than uh, this year we've had. And uh, I guess I, I'm saying that because I'm probably going to take uh, a week off or so from posting on the channel just while I work out a content structure. In fact, there are a few videos with the Z4 planned and filmed actually already, uh, which you'll be seeing very soon. So content's not stopping by any means, but I think, yeah, there'll be a few days of break while I just get my bits together with this car leaving sort of unexpectedly <laughs> um, yeah anyway guys thanks so much for watching um, thank you again especially if you've watched all the way to the end here um, and listened to my explanations I hope they make sense I, like I say I hope I've made a good decision and uh, I'm gonna miss this car but until the next uh, video guys like I say happy new year Merry Christmas and uh, I'll see you all very, very soon.